busybodies, it's Starby Heaven here and you're watching TMI. Shocking news from the Hollywood Actors Guild. The union's board ruled that the organization will only support actors over the age of 18 with college degrees. Social media is ablaze with actors and actresses declaring their intentions to return back to school. But here's my burning question. What really happened during the Jennifer Love Hewitt incident that triggered this whole disaster? Well, busybodies, it's only a matter of time before TMI finds out. TMI finds out. Uh, excuse me. Yeah? Sorry, there's actually a line. <laughs> uh. Hey, Zach. Hey, Rebecca. You're living in the dorms again this year? Yeah, we're doing Le Mise Lab, and I needed to get into character. <laughs> Paramount Hall seemed like the closest thing to 1930s France. <laughs> Here's your key. Have a great semester. Thanks. Come see Les Mis. I'm a shoo-in for Jean Valjean. <laughs> Later, Chewbacca. Hi. Name, please? Allison Clark. Guys, it's confirmed. Room 1409 is holding the world's greatest actor. You're all too kind. Here are some signed headshots. You get one, you get one. Everybody gets one. Just give it to everybody. I have plenty. It's like your dog. Can you like believe we're going to get a selfie with him? Best snap story ever. Okay, get do you think the dog filter is too passe? I mean, it is Donnie Jepp we're talking about. Donnie Jepp? I'm pitching yet. How could Holy you Holy macaroni. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm guessing one of you must be my roommate. I thought she wasn't coming until tomorrow. Penny's not gonna be happy about this. I know, I'm trying to think. Penny is going to be pissed. OMG, um, guys, is that cotton? Just shut up! I will handle this. You know what? I think I have the wrong room. No, no. You have the right room. My name is Pandora. This is Petunia. That's Penelope. And this is Penny. The accent's under the second E. We're helping our girl Penny get moved in. Oh, okay. Is she here? Of course not. We're moving everything in for her so the transition into the dorm won't be so traumatic. Transition? There's something you should know about Penny. I'm here, bitches! Yeah, I see it. You wouldn't believe the daddy issues on that one. The name's Donnie. Donnie Jeff. Hey, big fan of your everything, especially the third Marauders of Micronesia. I was afraid of that. <laughs> Come on, man. I can feel you undressing me with your eyes. Back off a little bit, will you? Sorry, it's just... What the hell are you doing here? <sighs> well, the Hollywood Actors Guild uh, instituted a new role where if, you, if you're gonna be in it, you gotta have a college education, so... That doesn't make any sense. Who would agree to that? I mean, you have your own money. What do you even need the hag for? Just start a new union! With look, me! Look, not, I'll no, be your no, dude! No, 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 look, look, listen, the, the labor politics are very complicated, alright? We, we lost a lot of our leverage after the Jennifer Love Hewitt incident. Ah, uh, right, I, I read about the whole thing. The public doesn't mm -hmm. even know the half of what went down. Right, with the barbecue, barbecue sauce, sauce fair. Yeah. I, know, I know about that. She's a damn animal, that woman. Yeah. Oh my god, you're... You're... Yes, Penny Galtro in the flesh. I'm guessing you're a fan of my work? Well, yeah, I mean... Oh, that's so sweet. Here's a complimentary selfie. Post it on Insta and don't forget to add hashtag celebrity and hashtag charity. I want you to know that I have always supported the Union of Cleaning Laborers Alliance. So many cleaning men, women, and transitioning non-gender specific individuals have been produced by UCLA. Oh no, I'm not a maid. <laughs> uh, be a deer and fetch me a double half skinny cream 168 degree pumpkin spice latte. Um, Penny. Yes, darling? She's not your... She's your roommate! Holly! It's Allie! A uh, bitch say what? Your publicist thought it would be good for your image if you shared a room. Share a room? Ho, oh, hold up. Pumpkin, it'll be good for your reputation. So you expect me to share this room, which is 12 by 9 feet, which means 228 square feet total, which means I only have 114 square feet, which means I'm basically living in my dog's closet. Well, at least it's bigger than your dog's guest closet. Pandora, you're fired. You and your yeast infection color dress can get the hell out. What? Penny, you cannot just kick me out of the squad. Who will stay up with your dog during her night tears? I learned braille for you. I voted for Donald Trump just because you dared me to. 
I screwed Woody Allenwitz, you by the way, just so you could get a role in one of his experimental films. Penny, I had dedicated the last five years of my life to you. What else am I supposed to do in college? You can start by changing your major from philosophy to something worthwhile. My major is phylogeny! <gasps> You're gonna regret this. Mm -hmm. Phylogeny is a branch of biology. Hmm, Holly, would you be a dear and mark in the planner the time and date of Pandora's termination? Hey, Donnie, this is a non-smoking room and building and campus, actually. <clears throat> but what you fail to realize, Lord Commander, is there hasn't been a chain link forged, nor a rope entwined that can ensnare me. Gentlemen, my lady, you will always remember this as a day you almost caught Captain Mac Flamingo. That's a uh, Marauders of Micronesia. Oh, uh, you know, I thought I recognized it. Yeah, you kind of my own take on it. Mate, I learned that line on the day, performed it on the day, and I forgot it on the day. The girl seriously can't get back with my coffee soon enough. God, Holly, can you believe that bitch Pandora? <laughs> yeah, seems like she opened a box of Evo messing with you. <laughs> uh... Oh. I left my keyboard cord in the car. Be right back. Galtro's little squad. I heard things were rocky ever since the Jennifer Love Hewitt incident. No comment. Look, I'm the best chance you have at ruining Penny's career forever. Just tell me what you know about the Jennifer Love Hewitt incident. Thanks for the tidbit, honey. But I'm gonna need the full story. CMI coverage goes a long way. We basically invented the Kardashians. Just keep giving me the dirt on Penny Galtra, and I might make you a star too. Jeannie? Uh, someone's on line four. I've got a mountain of paperwork to do, so unless it's the NAACP with their apology acceptance release, I'm afraid I can't answer that. Um, <clears throat> it's Penny. Oh, Lord. Penny, darling. Help me, I'm dying. College is too hard. Princess, class doesn't even start till Wednesday. I don't care. I was fine when the university said I had to live on campus for a year, but I did not sign up for a frumpy lower middle class roommate. Oh my. Pascal, coffee please. Penny, I know it's tough, but you just gotta bitch up and go with it, okay? Spoiled and Dumb is so 2003. Consider this a rebranding exercise. By October, we'll have you in Taco Gong ads. Learn to share, darling. Share? Uh, I've never had to share anything in my life. Well, except for Ben Sharif off lucky with his wife, but that's different. Sweetheart, sweetheart, listen. She's a nice girl. I helped pick her out. She's got a single mom, good grades, only 10 pairs of shoes. You know, the typical sob story. Please, there's no such thing as a nice girl. Plus, her skin is screaming. Help me, I'm dehydrated. I can't have a roommate with visible pores. Her name is Holly, and, and she's... Do you know who they had to cast as your role in Miley Cyrus the Musical? An engineering major. What? From MIT. No. Who went to grad school. Oh, good God. Exactly. The time for complaining ended when Hag's tolerance of ignorant starlets did. Now, I don't want to hear from you again until midterms are over. Capiche? Fine. I'm the only Jean. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Look, man.
man. Look, listen, <laughs> listen to me. If you're gonna sing something, could you make it uh, enjoyable or something in tune? L lions don't concern themselves with the opinions of sheep. Every one of your movies is the same guy in the different costumes. Whatever. Give me that. Hey, that's my Jean Valjean script. It's Jean Valjean. You're the college educated actor I'm losing my hag card to. Please, do yourself a favor. Become a business manager. How dare you? What am I supposed to do for the next couple of days, huh? What the hell is wrong with you? Whatever. No. Penny, I am so sorry. I was completely out of line. Please take me back. I will do anything to make it up to you. Anything? She just said that. It's rhetorical, Payless. Ooh. Thank you. And mind your own business. Is there anything else you'd like to share on tonight's episode of Show and Tell? <laughs> this dynamic is going to get really boring if you keep doing the slack-jawed child routine. <laughs> Pandora, you can make it up to me by eating a 4,000 calorie fast food meal. <laughs> Fine. Holly, would you be a dear and make a note of the time and date of Pandora's reinstatement, then return the planner to her? Thank you. To the restaurant. Let's go, ladies. Last week, I sat down with one of Hollywood's hottest actors for an exclusive interview about his big decision to leave show business behind in pursuit of a college degree. Donnie, tell me more about your decision to leave it all behind. Well, I don't feel like I had that much to leave behind. And why is that? I love my job, you know? I, I, I'm very lucky, but I feel like there was something missing. For example? I didn't have that many real friends. You know, you know in the film business, you make a lot of acquaintances. You stay with people for weeks, maybe months, and you make memories that filmgoers will probably remember for the rest of their lives, but you'll forget by the next afternoon. I have very few genuine connections. I see. Can I get a statement over the whole Jennifer Love Hewitt by my son incident? Wait, how'd you know Bob was a part of that? You heard it here first, folks. Stay tuned for more of my revealing interview with Donnie Jepp after the break. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. I know Les Mis is pretty much the most annoying thing to hear someone rehearse. Only for an hour and a half. Yeah, sorry about that. And I'm sorry I insulted you as an artist. Oh, you know, I hardly remember it. Short-term memory and all. Are those, are those open? Yeah, I got a little hungry. <laughs> Speaking of that, the RAs are going to be on our asses about... That, there's a no smoking rule. It's just steam, man. It's yeah. just steam. Besides, you know, I'll give them a couple autographs, kiss their kids on the cheek, you know? Think I'll be okay? <laughs> I think you have a decent shot, Captain Mac. Don't call me that. Speaking of which, <clears throat> I know it might be kind of awkward of me to ask you, but you are older than I am. Listen, listen, I was man. wondering. I don't have any say in the casting decisions. Buy me beer? <laughs> no. I'll buy you liquor. <laughs> that was the best revenge ever. <laughs> Taco Gong had a coupon, so I made Pandora eat like 10 stir fry burritos. <laughs> a coupon? Are you prepping for a role as a two percenter? <laughs> it's actually a charity challenge. I'm living on $900 a week to show how hard it is being poor. And what are you doing? Sewing. Huh. Well, maybe if you lay down some tracks, I could show them to my friend Kanye. You know, Jesus? Well, I wouldn't say we're on a nickname basis yet, but... <laughs> oh, seriously, Mom? Family problems? It's nothing. Please. I'm an actress, remember? My business is human emotion. Plus, my family is batshit crazy, so I feel you. <laughs> you really want to know? Well, my mom is this wannabe actress, <laughs> and she's begging me to show you her headshots. 
She just texted me three of her favorite angles. <gasps> Seriously? I want to see. Okay. Oh, oh my. She's, um... I know. Well, <laughs> you should see my mother. Oh. Yeah, that malpractice suit bought our second beach house. <laughs> but where is her... Oh, they're taking care of it. You know, my mother was an actress, too. She had, like, one big role in that thriller, the Pennsylvania Hacksaw Slaughter, and then that was it. So she spent the rest of my life trying to make me into what she always wanted for herself. You should have heard her on the phone earlier today. She was such a bitch. Wait, that was your mom? What? Nothing. I mean, I sort of heard some of the conversation earlier. Oh. Well, you know, being lower middle class isn't all that bad. I mean, a lifetime will never make a rags to riches story about me. They'll make it about you, and then I'll play you. Well, I better call my posse back. I mean, my clothes aren't going to unpack themselves. Of course not. And I'm going to need some of your closet space. Uh, of course you are. What's your major, by the way? Um, chemical engineering. <laughs> oh my god, that Jessica Florence girl is such a fake. I know, right? Who falls down in five inch heels? Seven inches, maybe. <laughs> Ladies, speaking of seven inches. <laughs> oh my god, it is so good to have you back, Pandora. Aw, love you. <laughs> <laughs> While we're having this little girl sesh, why don't you tell us about the details of the Jennifer Love Hewitt incident? Oh my god, if that ever gets out, I will like never work again. But I guess I can trust my girls. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we were all backstage at the Secret Boys to Women reunion concert when the third Wait. base- Stop. Shut up, peasant. Penny is speaking. Penny, I saw her with the TMI reporter in the parking garage earlier. Pandora told her your secret. Here's proof. I oh my god, how could I be so stupid? I knew there was no such thing as a nice girl. Penny, I am so sorry. I think you're fired again. Yeah, get the hell out, and the rest of you get lost too. What? Not fair! You promised us 200,000 Insta followers. Yeah, and early access to your skincare line. Duluth! And roles in any and all Penny Galtrow television, film, and theater projects. The sanctity of the squad is ruined. I want to form a girl group with loyal members, one to rival T. Swift's. College is the perfect place to rebuild from the ground up. Fine. You're gonna regret this. Hmm. Again! Whoa! Is that Penny Galtro? What? Where? Where? I've seen all of her movies. Her work in Shakespeare and Lust is iconic. It's a softcore porn masterpiece. Truly. Oh my god, is that Donnie? My order to attach cool has been blown. Abort! Donnie! I didn't know you went to school here, you sneaky devil. It's kind of the point. Oh my god, and on the same floor? What are the odds? Fate is a fickle mistress. Pardon my interruption, but Miss Galtro, I must tell you, you're truly one of the most gifted and serious actresses of our generation. Oh my god, of course I am. And who are you? Oh, where are my manners? I'm Donnie's friend. No, you're not. Zach? With a Q. <laughs> oh, alrighty, Zach, with a Q. <laughs> oh, shoot. No, don't look at me. Here you go. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Hey, aren't you the one who cut me in line earlier today? W -w what? You definitely jumped to the front of the line and totally ignored me when I called you on it. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I never forget a face. Oh, Holly, don't embarrass me. Donnie, Zach, this is my roommate, Holly. Yeah, nice Hi, to meet you, Donnie. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you for the first time, Sally. It's Al. Okay. Oh, Holly, please. First impressions are often wrong. Like, when you and I first met, I just thought you were some weird, constipated, colorblind member of the lower middle class. But we both now know that you're only some and not all of those things. Thanks. You know what I think? I'm capable of cognitive thought. Well, we should all go out to dinner. How about the Thai place on the road? Perfect, my treat. Oh. <laughs> I hate Thai and she knows it. What's up, busybodies? I'm Starvey Heaven. Breaking news. Moments ago, we received reports that a five alarm fire has broken out at USC. 
The cause of the fire remains unknown, but the presence of six empty, I totally believe it's not butter containers, near the crime scene suggests a connection to the infamous Jennifer Love Hewitt incident from last July. Well, folks, they don't call it Holly Weird for nothing. Hollywood, you, ooh, what do we do? It's a double L I and a Z A Q adding back to the dome for a new year of school. But ooh, there's a twist. Have you heard the news? Ooh, ooh, Hollywood, you, you, you.